Okay, so to kickstart this full face of first impressions, I've already done my eyebrows just because I didn't have any new products for my eyebrows, but I have listed um, the products that I've used for my brows down below and any other products that I've, I'm going to use in this tutorial that aren't necessarily new. So because I've got like a new liner and I kind of want to go for like a winged look today, I'm going to do my eyes first, so I'm going to go ahead and prime them. So to prime my eyes, I am going to use this primer from Cargo Cosmetics, their kind of HD collection. It comes in a little squeezy tube like this, so I'm just going to put a bit on to my, like, the back of my hand. Okay. So I've just put a bit on the back of my hand, and it is a really nice kind of, like, flesh-toned colour, and I love primers that are, like, um, have a colour to them, and I'm just going to apply this to my eyes. On a first impression, it's quite, like, silky. So I'll wonder if it will dry. I'm definitely going to have to set this with a powder so nothing clings to it. But it is doing a really good job in terms of like smoothing out my eye. Not that my eye wasn't smooth before but just like it's giving a really nice base. Colour isn't as pigmented as I thought but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Fucking lawnmower. Okay, so that's my eyes primed. So far, so good. Like I said, I definitely, like I would with most primers, I'm gonna set this with powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye just because I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do yet. And then I will come back and show you how I do it and do the other eye. Okay, so a lot of the things that I bought on Received are all kind of fairly warm neutral tones. So I've gone with something I know a lot of you will like, but a lot of you will probably say is really similar to it things that I do but it's just kind of a look that I'm comfortable with and I'm going out after this so yeah so like I said I've set the primer with um powder I just use my RCMA loose powder to do that because it's got no color or anything and now I didn't really have anything that was like a new light transition color so I'm going to use um, one of the bronzes that I plan to use this is from Colourpop I made a Colourpop order I'm so happy that they shipped to the UK now shipping was a bit of a bitch in terms of price but I've heard such good things about their stuff and this is in the color skinny dip so I got this because it was a bit more of like an olivey toned bronzer and they're the kind of bronzers that I prefer so I'm just gonna buff that into my socket as my initial transition colour you guys know I'm a I really like to use my bronzer as my transition colour just because I think once the whole looks complete it kind of the colours tie in together on a first impression um it doesn't pick up a huge amount of product like they're not massively pigmented like I've had to really swirl my brush around in this bronzer to pick up the amount that I've just picked up, which isn't a huge amount, but I think that's kind of good. It kind of helps people not go too heavy handed and gives you a bit more of a softer colour. So, so far, so good. And as for the primer, obviously, I'll come back in like a few hours and we'll see how the eye makeup has worn to be able to fully test it, but it applied really nicely. And obviously, after setting it with powder, me applying this transition colour on top has applied really nicely as well and I really really like the colour of that bronzer so that was Skinny Dip bronzer from Colourpop. Moving on to the next colour this is um, something that I picked up while I was on holiday. This is an eyeshadow from H&M in the colour Canyon Clay. This colour literally screamed at me and I swatched it and it was so 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 pigmented in the shop and I actually didn't realise that H&M did such an extensive range of makeup so I did pick up a few of their bits. And this is just a really nice matte warm colour and we are just going to use that to further define our socket. Look how much pigment. If you've got blue eyes, you need this colour. This is the kind of colour that just makes your eyes pop because it's so, like, orangey-brown. And there's, like, no fallout and it's so pigmented. So I was really impressed. Does anyone know what... They might, like, own their own, but, you know, Topshop makeup is owned by Estee Lauder, which is why it's quite... It's really good quality. They're all made under the same roof as, like, MAC and, obviously, like, Estee Lauder and all those other brands. Does anyone know what H&M makeup is made by we shall see and then just going back in with our big fluffy brush that the skinny dip on i haven't picked up any additional product i'm just using it to soften the two colors together then for my lid color i'm so 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 excited this is one of the main reasons i did the color pop shop was to get some of their eyeshadows and this one is in the color lovely i'll do a little swatch for you so it's like a really nice champagne -y, pinky gold color you guys know that these kind of colors are right up my street so after doing this eye i originally thought that these would apply best with your finger which they do they apply really nicely with your finger but they also apply really nicely with a brush like this this is a mac 
242 brush. So I'm just going to take my 242 brush and place that onto my lid. I think this would be a really nice colour if you did like a spotlight eye to go in the middle. So let me know if you want to see that. I should have done that today. Oh gosh. Having all the ideas when it's too late. But yeah, these Super Shock, Shock eyeshadows are like cream to powder formula. So they are meant to be really pigmented and creamy. But obviously they go on like powder. Really, really impressed with how that goes on. Like I said, I'd heard such good things about Colourpop. So it was only a matter of time before I made a purchase. Next, I'm gonna go in with this absolutely gorgeous palette from Per Cosmetics. It is the Love Your Selfie 2 palette. I think I'll have already said it by now, but me and Han are going to V-Fest this weekend with Per Cosmetics, um, especially kind of showcasing this palette. So this is a little sneak preview. It has such a gorgeous range of eyeshadows and a highlighter, blusher, and bronzer. Um, a really gorgeous Dusty Rose liquid lip and pencil and a little mini of my absolutely favourite mascara which is the Perfectly Charged Mascara. If you've not tried this, you definitely need to try it. But I'm just going to go in with this colour here called Headshot to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Okay, wow, that's really... <laughs> oh my god, these eyeshadows are so pigmented. What the frick? What the frick on a stick? Those eyeshadows are so buttery. That was a matte one. I'm now going to go in with this colour here. It is called Panorama and it's more of a shimmery one. I'm just going to use that to further define the crease and just add a bit of depth. I'm obsessed with these shadows. I'm so impressed with everything that I'm using so far. Let's hope it stands the, with the test of time. I don't want anything too dramatic so... I'm going to leave that there and then I'm just going to wipe away the excess before we do our eyeliner. Okay, so for eyeliner, I am taking this Winging It um, Eyeliner Felt Tip Pen from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I've used brushes from Blank Canvas Cosmetics before and I do have um, a few here that I'm going to show you in a minute as well when I do my face because they're more face brushes. But look at the wand on this. It's so big and when I was doing this one, it just made it so, so, so much easier. So I know I'm already impressed with it, so I will just show you how it applies now because it has such a long nib it makes it so much easier to go from inner to outer corner and it's so like it's such a soft nib as well I know it sounds a bit dodgy but it's such a soft nib so it makes everything so much easier to apply and it just kind of like glides across your eye and then just doing the wing Okay, I will say it's starting to lose its kind of, the point of the nib is starting to get really, not like worn, but a bit soft. So it's not allowing me to be super, super sharp. It's kind of like bending. So you can see my wing isn't like super pointed. So I'm just going to go back in with my wipe to tidy that up. So we'll see how that one wears. It claims to be a super long wear and waterproof eyeliner. So like I said, yeah, we'll see how that one wears throughout the day. But so far, so good. I mean, the nib was a bit disappointing. The more I was kind of like using it, the softer it was getting. So as I got to the tail, it wasn't rock hard anymore. And then I couldn't get as sharp a wing as I wanted, but a wipe did that for me and that, that's fine. Bloody hell. Going back in to that Per Cosmetics palette, I'm going to take the little mini of the Per Fully Charged Mascara. I didn't even realise that this palette came with it, so when I opened it, I was so happy because minis, everyone loves minis, especially if it's of your fave product. So these are kind of the eyes complete. You can obviously leave it there in terms of mascara, but you know me and I love a good pair of lashes, but I haven't got any new, new lashes in at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply them and then we'll get on to the face makeup. But like I said, any products that aren't new, I will have still listed them down below. So if you want to know what lashes they are, then you can read the description. Okay, so now we can move on to the face makeup. So for primer, I'm going to take the Per Cosmetics Correcting Primer and this is the Hydrate and Balance Formula. So perfect for people with with drier skin and kind of just need help with balancing their skin tone. Oh, 
So it comes out like a gel formula and then I am just gonna buff it into my skin. It has kind of like a wet finish to the skin, which is what I like in a primer. I like to know it's feeling hydrating, but it's actually kind of, oh, it feels really soft on my skin. I can definitely feel more of like an adhesivity. I, I can't remember if that's the word, but you know, you can feel a slight tack to it. So you know anything that you're gonna put on the top is gonna hopefully last. So we'll see how this goes. So far so good though. It feels super, super soft on my skin, which is always good with a primer. You never wanna feel like, it's rolling away like some of those like silicone primers that you can get. And Per Cosmetics are vegan friendly as well. I'm just reading the back of this. So for foundation, I'm taking quite like a different one for me. This one is from Cargo Cosmetics again, and it is their oil free foundation. This one is in the color 40 and, and it comes in a little sachet like this. So the PR company that stocks Cargo and Blank Canvas Cosmetics and some of the other like brush um, brands that I'm going to show you. Um, Natalie, she picked the shade for me and she knows I like to be quite tanned. You can see my neck's quite tanned at the moment and my face is quite pale so hopefully this matches well. So I'm just going to squeeze a bit on the back of my hand. Oh it looks really like moussey and then i'm gonna take this brush from bank canvas cosmetics is the f20 and i love a good stippling kabuki brush so i'm just gonna dab it like this and then buff it into my skin so as for color it's quite a good match it might be the tiniest bit too pale just for what i am at the moment but a lot of you are probably thinking no it look it matches as for the coverage, I would say it is medium to buildable. It's definitely not full, but it's definitely not sheer. But I'd say you'd definitely be able to build it up. I've heard good things about Cargo Cosmetics. I always used to um, really want their eyeshadow palettes. I'd say the finish is quite like a velvety finish. I'm not noticing any instant shine, but it's not really matte either. I don't know if it's the brush that's absorbing a lot of the product, but I am finding I'm having to... Like you can see like apply quite a lot so with this a little doesn't necessarily go a long way but you do get quite um a large amount of foundation in that packet okay so that is the foundation applied and obviously so far so good it's really lightweight on the skin but i did manage to kind of get like a medium coverage from it and the color like i said maybe the tiniest bit too light but i can obviously warm up my complexion with bronzer that's not a problem so we will see how the primer and foundation last together throughout the day under concealer i'm gonna take the Too faced born this way concealer in the shade light i'm so excited for this one i saw it in sephora when i was on holiday and i was like yes i've not actually tried it yet i've been holding out for this video so we shall see i'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes my nose is kind of peeling at the moment so i'm kind of avoiding putting too much product on my nose because i don't want to draw attention to it and so is my forehead so we won't go too high with that on then we'll take a bit on my chin as well and then we're just gonna buff that into the skin i really thought this was going to be a really really full coverage but it's actually more i'd say of a medium coverage and definitely has a dewy finish to it. But I got mine obviously like a couple of shades lighter than my natural skin tone because I want to use it for highlighting. So that is the under eye concealer applied. As you can see, it's really helped to brighten up underneath my eyes and it's definitely not too thick, but it is giving me good coverage. So it sits and feels really nice on the skin. So we'll see how this lasts in terms of creasing throughout the day. I am now gonna go ahead and set my face with powder. I don't have a new powder, so I'm just gonna take my trusty RCMA powder to apply that, but I am using a new brush. This is from Blank Canvas Cosmetic. This is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It is their F15 Tapered Face Brush and I'm just going to take my powder and press it underneath my eyes. This brush is incredibly soft. Like, that feels like silk on my skin, no jokes. And no bristles are falling out and it's brand new, so yay. Thumbs up for that one. Then I'm just gonna, yeah, take my leftover powder and just dust that in places I just applied concealer so it's all set i'm feeling sufficiently set in place now oh grr, what is next so on to bronzer i am going to go back in with that ColourPop bronzer in skinny dip but i have a feeling this isn't going to be as 
pigmented as I want it to be so we might use another bronzer as well and I'm gonna take this big powder brush from look good feel better which feels oh my god so soft again this is from the same PR company that has cargo and blank canvas cosmetics I'm just gonna dust that in there that's literally like not showing up <laughs> maybe I'll use a smaller brush Let's see if that makes it better Okay, smaller brush, slightly better, but it's not really as pigmented as I want it to be. Okay, Colourpop eyeshadows, yes. Colourpop bronzer, not a massive fan in terms of pigmentation. I mean, it's really slightly warmed up. This is probably a very, very good bronzer for if you're slightly fairer in skin. But on me, it's not really showing up massively, so... I'm going to go in with this bronzer from Cargo Cosmetics and it is in the colour medium and we're going to go in with the bigger powder brush again and see how this one works out. Oh, there we go. Much better. And we're just going to dust this everywhere to warm up our complexion. This brush is going to be my new favourite, I think. Dusting things all over my face. It's got such like a big surface area and it just blends. The bristles are so, so, so soft. It just blends everything nicely together and that color bronzer was really nice as well what was this again medium it's not too orange it's really nice and glowy and subtle i think right moving on dipping in to the selfie 2 palette again i'm taking this blush color called photogenic it is gorgeous it is like a really really pale rose gold color like looks like it's got loads of loads of sparkle in it and i'm taking a blank canvas cosmetics f04 brush to apply I'm not a massive blush wearer, so these colours get me so excited. Look at that glow. Oh my god, if you're going to get that palette, just get it for the blusher. It's going everywhere, and this brush is really nice and firm, so it applies product really well. That's been my favourite product so far. That blusher is gorgeous, but I feel like this might be the icing on the cake. This is a new highlighter from Ofra. It is Rodeo Drive, and I do have a discount code to get you guys 30% off. I think it's Rachel Leary, but I will have listed it down below. I'm just going to take a MAC 224 to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and probably dust it everywhere. I've seen everyone raving about this, so I have a feeling I'm going to love it. Actually, first, I'm going to go in with the Cargo Cosmetics um, Illuminating Stick in Champagne. It's like a bit of a base, and I'm just going to apply that with my finger. It is a cream highlighting stick, and sometimes I think powders apply better if you have a base. So, because this is new in as well, why not? We'll try it. Oh my god, on top of that blusher. That looks so pretty. I'm glad I remembered this was here. Yes, honeys. Okay, now I'm going in with Rodeo Drive on top of that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Holy f Okay, if you like a pigmented highlighter, I recommend that combination right there. Obsessed, I knew I was gonna love that, and I know you guys will too. I'm just gonna highlight my little nose. Get a bulbin between my brows as well and my cupid's bow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes by applying that H&M eyeshadow underneath and then a bit of that Pearl Cosmetics mascara again and then we'll move on to some new lip products. So these are the finished eyes with the eyeshadow underneath. I had no fallout with that eyeshadow as you saw before when I was using it in my crease. So super impressive and I'm obsessed with this mascara on my lower lashes as well. The little mini of it almost applies better than the big one so... I'm loving everything that was on my eyes at the moment, so we'll see how this lasts throughout the day. But now, like I said, onto the lips. So I don't have any new lip liners, but I did get some new nudes. So I'm just going to apply a Oak Lip Pencil from MAC to start with. I do get a lot of people asking me if, my, if I've had my lips done, and you can see, like, Look at what a lip liner does, especially if it's more like a flesh toned brown colour. It make, it makes your lips look way fuller than they are, especially if you overline. Okay, for liquid lipstick, I'm taking Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Midi. I have a feeling it might be sold out. Um, I'm going to put this on and see um, off the top of my head what um, dupes spring to mind. I've not tried them yet, but I've heard really, really good things. 
Okay, so this kind of reminds me of Lipland Cosmetics 50-50. Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood type vibes. But that is one coat and I'm really, really impressed. I wasn't really expecting much less. I'd heard really good things about them anyways. But for one coat that dried really, really quickly as well. But I love a glossy lip and I got a gloss from H&M. This is the Lush Lip Vinyl in Milk and Honey and I'm just going to apply that on the top. Okay, oh god, really, really pigmented, and I don't want that colour to disappear, so I'm gonna be really sparingly with it. I'm actually gonna dab that in with my finger. When I swatched it in the shop, it was really pigmented, so I wasn't expecting anything left, but I didn't expect it to be that pigmented when it was on my lips. Now I'm obsessed with this lip combo. Yes, and I'm just gonna highlight my cupid's bow a little bit more just because. It's me and it makes my lips look fuller, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think we are finished. Okay, so this is the kind of finished makeup look I created. Like I said, something quite go-to for me just because I'm going out after this, so I didn't want it to be anything too drastic. The time is now 10 to 2 and I'm going out for lunch and it's quite hot outside. So I'll be back in a few hours to kind of show you how the makeup has lasted, I suppose, and my final thoughts. So let's skip a few hours. Okay, so I'm back now and the time is, is, I can't see that, it says 19, so it's seven o'clock. As you can see, I think the eye makeup wore really well. It's not transferred to my lid or anything like that. Um, I did go out for lunch and stuff, so I was eating, and because I put a lip gloss on top of a liquid lipstick, it didn't last through the meal, so I did have to reply after the meal, and this is what's left, so the gloss has come off, and it's just a tiny bit of the liquid lipstick left, but I'm not sure if it's because of my powder, but my foundation's lasted really, really well as well, breaking away a tiny bit on my nose, but I think that's where I had sunglasses and stuff, so... I'm actually really impressed and giving my highlighter a base has made it um, last throughout the day as well. So all in all, and it's been really hot outside today as well, like I said, I'm, I'm really impressed with everything besides the liquid lipstick, Just, but I think that's my fault because I put a gloss on the top and then I ate loads of stuff. It all gets a thumbs up from me. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more kind of like regular full face of impressions videos, let me know or any like one branded tutorials or stuff like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.